Hello, fearless educators. This is Christy Novak, and I'm here to talk about all things Google Apps for Education related. So in the previous screencast, we just talked about an overview of um, the home page on a Chrome browser, and now I wanted to get into um, apps versus extensions, which I mentioned. So I'm gonna go over here again to the left-hand corner, and uh, this is on every Chrome browser, so I'm gonna click on it, and when I click on it, it will show you a page of all the current apps that are connected to your um, account. So what is an app? An app is something that runs within Chrome's browser. It's like, it's like almost like a little separate program. It can do its own little thing. So for example, uh, you know, if I'm using Google Docs, it's very much like a Microsoft Word document. I can use it and um, on its own and, and, and that type of thing. Um, so most uh, times, automatically, the basic uh, basic ones will come um, are already downloaded, like Docs and Gmail and Drive and YouTube, because those are all Apple, I mean, Apple, Google products. Um, however, you might see a couple that you're not familiar with or that you have. That's because these are ones that I have specifically downloaded at the web store. So if I want to use something um, within my Chrome browser that I might find useful, for example, a, a photo editing program, right? They don't have that. That's not something that I have that Google makes, but another company does, and it can be added on. So then I can just use it directly. I would go to my web store, or a student would also do this if there is a particular one that you want them to add, and this is where they could do a search for it. Um, they have categories here that can help sort obviously uh, so if you wanted to look for something and I'll just do a quick like oh I wanted to look for Pixlr which is a photo editing I can add it here I simply add it and then it will show up into my on my browser so that is what an app is now extensions that they live over here on the right hand side of your browser up in the top so what is an extension? An extension is something that enhances your Chrome browser experience. So for example, it's not like a separate program that's gonna be able to do its thing like Pixlr, for example, as a photo editor. It's something that helps me um, as I am doing my browsing and using the browser itself. So for example, I have Pocket, which is basically an online bookmarking um, extension. So if I see something that I really wanna save as a resource, I wanna check out later, all I have to do is click on this extension that I added to my browser and it will automatically save it for me and then I can go in later and check out my list of um, bookmarks that I've done. Um, other extensions that I have up here is Adblock. If you are not familiar with Adblock, it's very useful. I would recommend it for everything um, personal otherwise. It just helps um, get rid of unnecessary spammy advertisements. Um, also, you can download that for free. Um, this is a share to classroom for Google uh, extension where I will talk about another uh, screencast. I also have Google Translate. So if I wanted to access and use this, I could. And I also have something called Grammarly, which I've been trying out, which basically anytime I write um, an email or anything within my browser, it likes to check and make sure that I'm doing it correctly. So that is the difference between apps and extensions. However, you can get both apps and extensions, you get them through the same app store. So as you can see here, we have games. I mean, we have apps, we have games, and we have extensions. So is that's how you sort it, so you understand the difference. So this is where you or students can download things that can be useful for the classroom.